Welcome to today's Knee Jerk Devotional, November 2nd, 2020. Our passage today is Luke 12, 49 through 59. It goes like this. I have come to bring fire on the earth, and how I wish it were already kindled. But I have a baptism to undergo, and what constraint I am under until it is completed. Do you think I have come to bring peace on earth? No, I tell you but division. From now on, there will be five in one family divided against each other, three against two, and two against three. They will be divided, father against son, son against father, mother against daughter, and daughter against mother, mother mother-in-law against daughter-in-law, and daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. He said to the crowd, when you see a cloud rising in the west, immediately you say, it's going to rain, and it does. And when the south wind blows, you say, it's going to be hot, and it is. Hypocrites! You know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. How is it that you don't know how to interpret this present time? Why don't you judge for yourselves what is right? As you are going with your adversary to the magistrate, try hard to be reconciled on the way, or your adversary may drag you off to the judge, and the judge turn you over to the officer, and the officer throw you into prison. I tell you, you will not get out until you have paid the last penny. Why don't you judge for yourselves what is right? The question struck me this morning. Uh, Contextually, Jesus is talking about everyday people suing one another. He's arguing for them to handle the issue between themselves instead of giving themselves over to the power of the state. But here we are the day before the election, and I know that's on everybody's mind. See, everyone is clamoring to tell one another who to vote for and why. There is a growing sense of angst, fear, and worry. The gaslighting and virtue signaling is out of control. The identity politics are in full swing. But here's the deal. We can judge for ourselves what is right. We actually can. You actually can. At the end of the day, what matters is your conscience. Did you vote in good faith? Did you take your responsibility in the process seriously? If your conscience is clear, then you have done well. There is nobody that can clear your conscience for you. You must judge for yourself what is right. Just like the two people in the dispute that Jesus is talking to above, reconcile your conscience in this civic matter and continue moving toward grace, mercy, justice, and truth. Friends, regardless of what happens in an election, On Tuesday, the systems and powers that have created injustice in our world will remain. There will be work to do to expand grace, mercy, justice, and truth in this world. That work is not done or completed by filling in a Scantron bubble in a voting booth. That is but a very small piece of the puzzle. Loving well is not told in the story of your votes. It is told in the story of your day-to-day action. Your love well story is ultimately displayed by how you enter into the reality of the relationships surrounding you and being an agent of reconciliation. Until tomorrow, love well, my friends.